Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed, and today we're going to look in on the DIY bin. Now, the top is a little dry. I had had a problem with things becoming too wet, so I left the bubble wrap off, and now, as you can tell, it's too dry. So, you know, everything's, you gotta just keep an eye on it. There's no hard, fast rule. It was so muddy that you couldn't do anything with it a month ago and now it's dry so they've got other layers to go down into so nothing to be concerned about the worms can move on to some place that more suits them I'm just gonna kinda scrounge around here a little bit and see if there's any food I don't see anything I also did not watch the last video to remember where I fed. Maybe I fed on a different level. But I'm just gonna kind of look things through a little bit, see how everybody's doing. You can see the moisture just right down below is, is just fine. That's just fine for them. So nobody freak out and be like, oh, you poor little worms. No, they had some place to go. I'm not saying I don't screw up and sometimes they have less than ideal conditions, but it happens. All right, let's look at the second layer down. All right, here's the second layer down. Let's take a look at that. I see some coffee filters that have been worked through a little bit, so maybe we fed down here this time. Yeah, I see the I see the coffee filters, but that's all I'm seeing. I'm not. Looks like maybe some leftover tea bags. So this looks like a optimal spot to have my uh, faith in where I fed. So it looks like I did feed on this level. And there's nothing left except for some coffee filters and just a little bit of paper bedding. See the right around the edges is just pure castings from them running amok around there. All right, let's look at the bottom layer. Now, a lot of people have stacked system, whether they be professional or DIY, and a lot of them say, oh, good, so, you know, I originally started this as this being the sump, so that this is where any liquid would go and keep it away from my worms. They go down here anyway. The holes were like an eighth of an inch, and they still managed to get down here. So I decided if you can't beat them, join them. So I started putting um, a little bit of bedding down here, not a lot, just a little, just to make sure that if there was moisture, it would get absorbed and that the worms wouldn't drown, because that is what I was seeing. So if you have a particularly wet feeding, then you know it would have water down here and then I would find dead worms. So I decided to always keep at least a little bit of bedding down here and when it does get oversaturated then I flip it and put it on an upper layer don't generally feed down here I'm not trying to get worms down here um, but here we are I put bedding down here <clears throat> without any new worm I put new bedding down here without any worms in it and in the matter of a week or ten days however long it's been you know, the population of worms down here, including them making cocoons. You can see the little cocoon right there. Um, you know, they live down here. So as much as I, I'd love for the stacking systems to work the way they're supposed to, in my case, the worms come down anyway. So I just give them some bedding and make it a third layer and I swap it out for dry bedding if it gets too wet. That is just how it rolls. All right, let's assemble it and feed it. Okay, here we are back on the top again. So I'm just gonna make a, a furrow down the middle on this layer. I didn't find any real food, you know, just the ubiquitous avocado seeds. Sometimes they break down and sometimes they grow. got a couple of good size avocado trees out in my yard and then I also have a good size avocado trees in my house in the winter because I'm in zone 5 and they can't live outside 
so I get a house plan out of it. Alright, let's get them some food. Okay, still a little bit frozen, but leftovers from corned beef and cabbage, it looks like. I'm going to bury this good because this will stink. Give them some grit and then bury it up. Make sure that it is buried really good. I do not want any problems. And it's in my basement, not in the main part of my house, but still. Okay, well, that is it for the DIY stack bin today. If you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not already a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing, when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. Everybody, have a good day.